Hey, I'm Seth with Land of House. This is a ram pump. It's a water pump that requires no fuel or electricity to operate, only flowing, falling water. Basically, for every one foot of fall that drops into the pump, it can lift seven feet out. So, in a previous video, I installed a couple of 90s that made kind of a zigzag in the drive pipe. Well, in this video, I'm going to be trying out a spiral drive pipe. Let me show you what I mean. I bought some half inch conduit uh, sweeps here and I will be using these to make kind of a, a spiral here out of the, uh, the drive pipe. So first of all, we're gonna be testing a straight pipe in the same distance and then we'll install this spiral and see if it slows down the pressure wave and improves the pump's uh, pressure and flow rate. Here's the setup for the first run. I've got a five gallon bucket full to the top of the water. Comes down a 90 and about a five foot piece of PVC pipe. Cuts off again a 90 over here to the pump. So I'm gonna start this up. We're gonna count the cycles for one minute, get the pressure in the same one minute, and then we will install the spiral and see what happens. Let's go ahead and open this valve here to let water into the drive pipe. I'm hearing the bubbles pop up there. Some nice dirty water. I'm just gonna make sure that the air is purged out of this. Seems pretty good. Pressure gauge is ready. Pump is ready to be started. We got my stopwatch, so as soon as it starts cycling on its own, I will start the stopwatch. Here we go. Uh -oh. Well, I had 64 and 40 seconds before my drive pipe burst loose here. And the pressure in that 40 seconds was 20. So maybe we should just work with uh, that number for now. 64 cycles in 40 seconds. Pressure was about 20 PSI. As you could tell, that was cycling very fast. So if our spiral can slow that down, then we will be golden. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and I'm gonna keep this long piece right here and we will see how well the spiral section does. Same five gallon bucket full to the top. I have a 90 here, comes down and hits this spiral, makes a couple of turns around there and then comes to the pump. I was hoping I had more spiral than that, but uh, that should at least give us a fun test. If for some reason these pieces bust loose during this test, I will have to glue them. But let's go ahead and see what we can get in the same uh, 40 seconds here. Go ahead and let the water back in. Okay, got that done. Looks like we have some leaks here where these fittings aren't perfect. They don't do as well as regular PVC. Let the air out of here. Okay, let's see if we can get 40 seconds out of this. I'm already seeing that we have too many leaks here on our spiral. I'm gonna have to go get some PVC cement and uh, get these glued down real quick because it is leaking on almost all of them. I believe I have all these joints glued except for this one and down there at the other white piece. We'll see if that holds. So let's go ahead and fill this back up with water. Let that air bubble out. Need to close that off. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing where I time for 40 seconds and get a pressure and a cycle time. Okay, hopefully I get this one started. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 
<laughs> so made it 30 seconds on that one before it uh, burst loose there. Let's see what our pressure is. Looks like uh, 24 PSI. So in 30 seconds, we had 74 cycles and a pressure of 24 PSI, which means this thing is cycling way faster than it was with the straight pipe. So does it work? Yes, it does. Would it reduce your distance based on the spiral versus the straight pipe? Not really. Uh, it was easier just to run the straight pipe straight down and over to the pump. Now, as you can see, the cycles are fast. If you were to spread that drive pipe out another 30, 40 feet, they would slow down. The pressure would build higher and it would cycle uh, slower, use less water. So it's definitely better to have a long drive pipe versus either of these examples. I was kind of hoping that the spiral effect here would cause the pump to cycle slower. But I think what's happening is the pump is seeing this first sharp bend here as the place that the pressure wave should turn back. So it's just using this very short piece here instead of using that whole spiral as you would hope. Well, if you found this fascinating, hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell, and write me a comment down below. I read every comment, even though I don't always respond, because I get like 60 to 80 comments every day. Uh, it's just hard to keep up with. But uh, anyway, that was a fun test. A spiral drive pipe to hopefully use a smaller space, but it turns out just using a straight pipe is more effective than that spiral. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Whenever I install my solar panel wire, I need a couple of these sweeps and I may be able to cut uh, some of these off and reuse them. So if you're worried about what I'm gonna do with all this waste, that's probably what I'll do.